This is Twit. At this point, it's worth noting there are about 7,000 people in the Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View down there where Google I.O. is taking place this year. Took place there last year, too. And um, most of them are developers, so Google they're Lens definitely speaking a to a set home of crowd. Based computing capabilities that can understand what you're looking at. So this looks like Google's answer to a Facebook camera, essentially. We'll ship it, it first in Google Assistant and Photos, and it'll come to other products. So how does it work? So for example, if you run into something and you want to know what it is, say a flower, you can invoke Google Lens from your assistant, point your phone at it, and we can tell you what flower it is. Oh, it's great I've for someone for like me with allergies. Remember Google Goggles? Yes. <laughs> or if you've ever been this at a friend's place a little and you've bit of crawled a under better a version desk of that, huh? just to get the username and password from a Wi-Fi router, you can point your phone at it. Oh, see, so this is what Apple does with HomeKit. Exactly. And but we can now, automatically do the great. hard work for you. Or if you're walking in a street downtown and you see a set of restaurants across you, you can point your phone because we know where you are and we have our knowledge graph and we know what you're looking at. We can give you the right information in a meaningful way. To be fair, you know, so, Facebook's working on similar things. See, Apple's working on similar things. Amazon's even tried it with its Fire Phone Google. with some image recognition. That didn't work out so well. But no one has as much data to tap into as Google in terms of image search, what they've, which, which they've done online for a long time, maps information, people uploading their own photos for street view and all sorts of things. So they have an advantage in terms of what they can recognize uh, and kind of building that data set for years and years now. And if people actually use this, two years from now with a better form factor, Google Glass becomes actually tenable and a viable technology that we can understand. Oh, Google Glass coming back. That would be something to see. Machine learning and AI will, we are rethinking our computational architecture again. This is so exciting. What we think of as AI first data centers. This is why last year we launched the tensor processing units. They're custom hardware for machine learning. They were about 15 to 30 times faster or 30 to 80 times more power efficient than CPUs and GPUs. Google at that can time. do this because they have so much CPUs scale. So this is going to be products. huge for influencing Every architectures, possibly, Every but maybe it's only going to work for Google. So that's something to think about here. Definitely an advantage Africa for them. In its historic match against Laserdal. As you know, machine learning has two components training, that is how we build a neural net. We we, you know, training is very computationally intensive and inferences what we do at real time so that when you show it a picture, we recognize whether it's a dog or a cat and so on. 